Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this JPEG of this image and asked how to draw it. And at first I just thought it was under common shapes and under your like a water drop or a teardrop. But it would take a lot of manipulation to kind of get that, you know, even though you can make it, you know, flip it over and, and kind of manipulate it. And I started looking at it. So if we'll take a circle, an ellipse, holding down the control button to make it perfect, control D to make it duplicate, and then hold down the shift key to make it proportionate. I don't think it really matters on the size. Now we're gonna take a two point line holding down the control button, and we're gonna click on our line, click on our outside circle and hit R, and that's gonna put it to the right. Now we're gonna click on our line, hit the plus key, hold down the shift key and select the circle and hit R. That way our two lines are perfectly the thickness of our two circles. So we're gonna select them both holding down the shift key and we're gonna control G to group them together. And then we're gonna rotate them to 45 degrees. Now I'm not gonna to pay too much attention to the angle, um, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror them the other way, and then move them to this side. Now we probably need to be even. Um, so what we can do is just look at it closer or look at it with an indexing line. And I think we're pretty close. So let's just bring in some indexing lines and we're right on the mark if we look the two lines cross at the indexing line. Now to get that shape, I would just take the virtual segment delete key, delete that line, delete that line, delete that line, delete that line, delete all these, whoop, a little too fast there. And you see what I'm getting at. Take the smart fill tool and fill that in and that's gonna uh, seal all that up and make one shape. Now, I'm pretty close Ironically, that I picked blue, too. Uh, this has a little bit more perfect circle shape than I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to do left click, right click. And you can see some nodes. Let's just take our virtual or our shape tool and delete these nodes. And let's delete these nodes. I think that's pretty good, pretty close to that, if not dead on. And it all depends on the size of the circle. The interior circle, I could have made it a little bit bigger. We could probably um, go up to object, break the curve apart, grab that circle and hold down the shift key and just slightly make it a little bit bigger. Um, and then if you needed it that color, all you have to do is take the smart fill tool Take your color eyedropper and fill that in. And of course, make it proportionate to the other size. Wow, that's pretty dead on. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.